Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our word is going to come to James chapter 4 and verse, uh, pick up verse 13. It's a passage or a verse you may have heard before and thought about before, and, but one that's upon my heart this morning that I want to share with us. James chapter 4 verse 13 says, Go to now you that say today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a city and continue there a year, buy and sell and get gain. So literally here's the thing. You have your plans that you're making, but he says, listen to this. You who are trying to make all these plans, these great grandiose ideas of what your life is going to look like and what you're going to do with your life and things like this. There's nothing matter with dreaming. There's nothing matter with trying to make the plans. But also be willing to recognize that what? Verse 14. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. For you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or do that. But now you rejoice in your boastings and all such rejoicing is evil. Now, what he's really talking about here is what he's trying to drive home for us here, guys. The point he's trying to get to us is this, is we have to recognize that we walk in the Lord's time. We walk, walk in the Lord's will. And we walk in the Lord's uh, ideas, whether we like, whether, whether kind of sometimes, if I hate to say this, but come on, whether, whether we recognize it or are willing to acknowledge it or not, we do. And so we do walk this way. And so in such, though, we got to remember it's not about I, this is what I did, I want, I that. It's what the Lord did, what the Lord wants, what the Lord allowed. And so we look at those things, we recognize those things, and we rejoice in those things, that what the Lord is doing for us, not in what we want done or what we think we should be doing. And so I hope this encourages you today as I think about this. But in addition to that, I wanted you to also think about one other heavier point for a moment here with me. Our life is but a vapor. What does that mean? Well, you remember, like, are you not remember? You can, you can imagine taking a shower or a, a hot bath or something like that, and, and the door is closed, and, and you get out, and there, and you forgot to turn on the, the exhaust fan or something like this, and so now the mirror or the glass in the, in the room is all steamed up. Well, you open up the door, or you open up a window, or whatever the case may be, you turn on the exhaust fan, and how fleeting that vapor lasts. It just whoosh, dissipates very really quickly. Well, this is our lives. Our lives are like this in the sense that we got to recognize that we are not promised every given day, every given plan that we might have for the future. So we should take advantage of today. Make sure you don't let the sun go down in your wrath today. Make sure that you're talking to people you should be talking today. Make sure that you're actually getting on uh, 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 those things worked out that should be worked out in your lives. Like, or the people you should be saying something to or apologizing to or, or asking for their forgiveness, you make sure you get those things done now. Don't wait because you do not know what tomorrow holds. So this is Courage Day. As always, guys, remember, I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.